Dabu 7 with an earthquake update April 26, 2015. As you can see here, 4.7 Kermetic, 4.6 in Fiji, which it saw a bigger quake before. Hawaii steady with its normal swarm. The Virgin Islands, the same. Chile, active with mid-level earthquakes all the way down through here. And you can see Oklahoma still active with its swarm. What's interesting is here in the United States with the recent activity we've seen down here off the coast up here in Canada as well as in Idaho, things of that nature. I mean, all the way across the, the New Madrid as well, right in the keyhole, we've seen activity. Here we have only one 2.4 that just hit finally 113 minutes ago on the west coast of California. Besides that, that normal swarm that we always see on the west coast is gone. Now those are things to keep an eye keep an eye on. Now there has been a big quake over here in Nepal and there are swarms elsewhere. But granted, that's only if the quake maps show in like, you know, eight hours or something and it's it's not carrying a whole day's worth of activity. You can see here, well, it goes all the way up to 20 hours at least. And in 20 hours, we hadn't seen a quake in California till 100 minutes ago. You could see Nepal hit with the aftershock of a 6.7. Thousands of people injured in this event. The number on the dead has just skyrocketed as well. I'm not sure the official number, but it is up there. It just keeps rising. And you can see when looking, see this whole ridge coming down through here? All that pressure in this area, that's where it's popping off at. All around Kathmandu at this point. I want you to also make note that these are very shallow quakes. Showing a lot of movement in this area. Because they're all over the place. Something to keep an eye on and how this is going to affect other plates. Other plate boundaries. If you're going to start seeing quakes down here on these ridges out in the ocean. I know Taiwan seen one right afterwards. It's dropped off. Will there be an uptick in the Philippines, Taiwan, Japan area? We'll have to wait and see. Now, the newest studies out here show that 143 million Americans live in an earthquake-prone region in the lower 48 states. Now, this was put out on April 22nd, and they say if you include Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico, the number rises to about 150 million U.S. citizens in this. Now, you can see by this map here the severity and the highest hazards down here in South Carolina, Tennessee right here in this ridge bordering North Carolina going down into Georgia. This whole area where you've got Tennessee, even Illinois, Kentucky, Missouri, Arkansas, all these states connected right here where they all meet, Keyhole, New Madrid. And that goes out quite a ways. Affects a lot of people. And really, when it comes to that area, this is the key spot. Now, you want to talk about Washington? Remember when we saw the quake come out of nowhere up there? Up by D.C., Virginia, Maryland, everybody up there felt it. That's an area to keep an eye on, too, because it shows anything can happen at any time. And obviously, the West Coast, it has the legendary San Andreas running through here. 
and the constant swarms that we always see. And now that we're not seeing those swarms after a monster quake, like I said, this is an area to keep an eye on. Or any activity around it that could trigger something. I'll leave links. Y'all stay safe. Till next time, this has been Dabu7. Much love.